Howdy everybody, this is Amy from Amy Sparkly Diamond Painting and I have a fun video, at least for me, to do today that might be a bit of a logistics mess. But you might be able to tell for those of you that recognize what these tubes are, and also you probably read the title, I am going to show my stash of Josephine wall paintings. And there's a reason I chose to do that now. And that's because there is a big diamond painting event coming up here for all the Josephine wall fans. I have some notes here and lots of papers. And you'll see why in a minute. This may be a little bit of a longer video, but we'll see how we manage to get this one done. So, uh, there is a Josephine Wall DP along for 2024. It does start April 1st and it goes through two months. So May 31st will be the end. It is being put on by Angie from Angie's Sparkle Addiction Art and from Deb from The Crafty Diamond. And they do have a website for this event, or not a website, a Facebook group. It's also a YouTube event. And you don't have to have a start and you don't have to finish because as those of us who are Josephine Wall fans know, these are very confetti heavy. A lot of them have multiple colors with them, over 200 in many cases. They can take a while. They can take a year or more for, for those of us that don't always get to work on them all the time. And they, they are definitely a challenge. But if you want to join in this event, like I said, it's called J-Wall DP Along 2024. You can do YouTube searches for it. You can look on Angie's uh, YouTube page or Deb the Crafty Diamond. And also go to Facebook and do the, the search for that. And it does start April 1st. Now, I do believe, uh, I couldn't find it in writing, but I think it's in the videos. I do want a licensed Josephine art for this. Um, there aren't that many companies that have them now, and it is kind of late to order for the start of the event, but you definitely get one before the end if you ordered from the main stores that do still have them. And that would be Diamond Painting Deutschland, and I have a few of those to show from my stash, as well as the one with the diamond art, and I do have a couple of those to show, and I just got one in today, as a matter of fact, so I get to maybe show you an unboxing at the end if this doesn't take forever. But I also have one from a D stash group, which is another place you can look because Diamond Art Club did previously have Josephine Wall art, but they do not carry it any longer. My pupper is playing here. Hopefully that won't get in the way. But I was able to buy one on a D stash group from a company called Diamond Painting Down Under. And that's this one here, which is an Australian company that is out of business. But you will find on the D stash groups several Josephine walls from Diamond Art Club available. And they can be kind of expensive uh, because they are a highly favored uh, diamond painting. Now, I don't have any of the Diamond Art Club videos, but... If I were to buy one, if I were to find one at the right price, the one I would find was Spirit of Flight. That is uh, one of the Josephine Wall artwork uh, pictures that I don't have. And that would be one that I would be looking for. I know Diamond Art Club has done it. I know it's available on some other sites, but I picked other ones before that. So let's get started here. I'm gonna try to do this in order by company, although as you can see right now, this is just kind of a big pile of mess. And we'll see if we can get through the logistics side of this. I'll put these off to the side back here. And maybe I'll just start with this one because this one is uh, just a single one here. And this is one I started here this month, which is why my finishes for March aren't uh, as big as the first couple months because I spent about a week of March just prepping for deciding, printing out the pattern, picking out the pattern, getting the drills and everything going for this. Now this is a Josephine wall, but this is a heaven and earth designs canvas that I picked. And I am doing this one on a blank poured glued canvas. And the design is definitely much bigger than this. I'm going to try to do this in smaller pieces and then use double-sided tape to tape them together because it's not going to end up on my wall. So I'm not worried too much about maybe a little bit of a bump along the seams. 
but it just seemed logistically like the best way to do this. So I'm going to start with this one just because it happened to be on top here and the only one that I have from Heaven and Earth Designs. And I'm going to show you the picture since you probably can't tell from that. This did not come as the... There, I'll fold that so you don't see the company name. I just borrowed the picture from the one with the diamond art. It is available there. But this is Heaven and Earth Designs, and it is called Spirit of the Elements. As you know, maybe from my previous videos, or if you're new here, I will let you know that I am a meteorologist. And so Spirit of the Elements, look at that cool thunderstorm over there. Uh, you got the wind, and what I started with was down here. This is snowflakes. So I couldn't tell very well as I was working on it, but now that I can kind of step away a little bit and see it on the camera, those are definitely snowflakes, although there's really not any white or sparkles in there. Um, but one of the reasons I like Josephine Wall artwork is the subtle shading. So this is probably about 60 or 70 colors just in this little area. And it did take a while because I'm counting on a blank canvas. There are no printed symbols on this. I'm using an app on my phone to, yeah, this is so sticky, to track uh, the, the pattern as I do it. So this again came from Heaven and Earth Designs and I just wiped a diamond away, but it looks like it was maybe one that didn't belong there that was stuck on the top. So this is Spirit of the Elements. I don't have written down the size or the amount of colors, but it is over 200. I usually pick the max color ones from uh, Heaven and Earth Designs if I pick them. So it's going to be a big one. As you can see, that much area is just this little tiny corner. So that's my first one that I'm working on. Now we're going to move to Diamond Painting Deutschland. And that was my first Josephine Wall that I ever purchased. And this is it. And that's as far as I've gotten. Now I'm being a little bit more careful with this one because it's not poured glue. The ones from Diamond Painting Deutschland are double-sided adhesive which requires a little bit of special care. And one of those things that is special about them is you want to lay them flat once you open them up because re-rolling double-sided adhesive over and over again can create rivers in the tape and air bubbles and can cause you some trouble in the long run. So it's best once you open one of these to lay them flat. Now I just lay them on my coffee table but that's because I don't have little kids running around and the dogs don't mess with them. But if you do have kids and dogs, another option is to hang them on like a skirt hanger where you can clip them on a hanger and hang them in your closet. So for example of a river, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but there's kind of this area here where the release paper is raised. I pulled off the covering of the double-sided adhesive and replaced it with release paper sections because that's how I like to work. But if I were to peel some of this off, first off so you can see some of the canvas and also to maybe see what we mean by rivers and bubbles because I can see that one through there because it, it's making the tape stand up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I can get the angle just right so that you can see it. It's right along here, and it's just an area where the double-sided adhesive or the sticky tape, basically, is trying to come up a little and has a little bit of air underneath it. So it's not the end of the world when that happens. It just takes a little more work because the best way to handle it that I have found is to take a, a little craft knife, exacto knife, and very carefully and lightly cut diagonally across where that river is, uh, going perpendicular to it. And then when you put the diamonds out, that air kind of squishes out and the diamonds will lay flat. Now, if you don't mess with them and just leave these big ridges in the tape, your diamonds may try to pop up and you definitely don't want that. So you can see from this, lots of confetti. I will show you the stats for this one here in a minute. And part of the logistic, logistics issue with this video is that most of the canvases, for various reasons, you can't really see them unless you've worked on them. 
So I printed out the pictures for all of these so you could see. So the double-sided adhesive ones will be covered in white and difficult to see, except for the little bits that are done. And that's as far as I've gotten on this one. So this is up here, some of the, the hair on these. So this is the Three Graces Diamond Painting Deutschland, 90 by 67 centimeters. Part of the reason I picked it, 270 colors. It was one of the, the highest color counts. And this is a square. And as you can see, I've gotten some of it done, but one of the reasons I really like Josephine Wall for diamond paintings is the beautiful watercolor look. So you can see all the colors. Some of these little squares can take a couple hours uh, to do because you're switching colors over and over and over again. You might have only one or two drills in a square this big. You might sometimes have only one, two, or three drills of one color before you're having to switch out for another color. But it looks like as I get further down, some of these areas seem to have larger areas of the same color. So I'm hoping I'm getting through the hardest part here at the top. And then as I work down to the faces and this area, uh, maybe it won't be too bad with confetti, but then should probably pick up again around the bottom with the trees and all that pretty bird there in the corner. So this is the Three Graces Diamond Painting Deutschland. And I've done a whip and chat with this one, so I won't talk too much about it because you've seen it before. So what else do I have from Diamond Painting Deutschland? Well, if you've never ordered from them, boom, these are big and heavy. This is how they come. And after placing that first order, I decided to go ahead and get a second one, which means I got a third one. <laughs> Girl math, I know. Now the way this works, shipping from Germany to the US where I live can be pretty expensive. So if you're gonna get one, you might as well get two and you'll save a little bit in the long run if you plan on doing multiples because you won't be paying for the shipping for each individual one. So. You can also group together with somebody. If you know another diamond painter out there that wants one, you can kind of work together and maybe save a little bit of shipping that way if you only plan on doing one. But it is a bit pricey to ship these in. You can imagine those really tough, I'm gonna make the dog bark by knocking like that. I shouldn't do that. So I'll move on from this. I'll show you what these are. So the first one here, is oh, this heavy tube and you might be able to see a little bit of the picture there but I went ahead and printed it out here this is crystal of enchantment it is 90 by 69 230 colors and it is square and this one is more autumn colored I kind of pictured that I would have these to, maybe on display by seasons and that's part of the reason I picked this one it's not all the rainbow flowery colors it is more muted autumn brown tones you've got the wings of the butterfly here you've got peacock feathers ships look at how bright the hair is and there's a place to really add sparkle there with the the crystal not completely sure why the old record player, I think those are called gramophones, maybe I'm not quite sure why that's in the picture. I'll have to look up more about this artwork, but it does kind of match the flowers there. So kind of a, an interesting odd touch there, but this is Crystal of Enchantment. And I'm not going to open this right now. I'm going to leave it in the tube until I want to work on it because it really is safer for this double-sided adhesive canvas. So that was my second from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Now the third one is right here. And this is Joie de Vie, or Joie de Vivir, if you're trying to, to sound that out phonetically, but it is Joie de Vie. It is French. And this one is 90 by 67, 220 colors, and again, of course, a square. But I like this one because we've again got the butterflies. We have this fairy running over the ocean with this beautiful wing train behind her with all those pastel colors. Really gave me a spring vibe, and I really liked it. So... That is the last one I have from Diamond Painting Deutschland. 
So that's enough to, to keep me for two years. Why would I mean, need more? Well, because there's always another picture. So I'm going to move on now to the one from Diamond Painting Down Under. And this one, like I said, I got on a D stash group. And one of the reasons I picked this particular uh, one from, from this company was, first of all, I found that it was available, was one of the pictures I wanted, but it's only 50 colors. So it's a little bit closer to what you might find with Diamond Art Club, which those are typically 50 to 70 colors. So they're a little bit easier, a little less on the confetti. They're still confetti heavy. But this is what the canvas looks like. And this one, again, I have the picture because even though I have the canvas here where you can see it, the way they did the symbols and everything to make it easy to read, it's kind of hard to see the picture before the drills are on. So this is Spirit of the Ocean. And the size on this one, don't uh, ignore all the, the information around this because I just borrowed the picture from the one with the diamond art. This is 80 by 60 centimeters. 50 colors and you can kind of get a feel here for how the canvas looks. It did come with an inventory sheet and I did already see just looking through the bag. I didn't open it but oh darn I got sorry about that. Have another phone call coming in. So I'm not sure if this is going to cut my voice off. Let me wait it's a spam call. I've been getting so many of those lately. So, okay, sorry about that. Another spam call trying to come in. I've been getting so many of those lately. So these are what the drills look like. They come in pre-sorted baggies. And look at all those green ABs for this one. I just noticed those popping out at me when I look through this. I haven't really opened it up yet. And I probably won't till I'm ready to work on this. But this one, not quite as confetti heavy, and I think you'll find that with the Diamond Art Club ones as well. Because they have fewer colors, you have some color blocking or areas with a lot of the same color in them, as well as, as a lot of confetti. It's still going to be a beautiful Josephine Wall art, but just not quite as demanding as far as colors and trying to find storage solutions and all that as the other ones. So that is spirit of the ocean. So we're getting there. Move that one out of the way because now I believe, yes, I'm going to move on to the one with the diamond art, which means I need to do a little reshuffling here. I'm going to move so I can move this out of the way. And I had to clear off my whole table to do this video here. Because this, I have shown it before, but you can see my progress on it so far here. Let me get back over to the camera so I can see what you're seeing. And this one is from the one with the diamond art. So this is Spirit of the Ocean. This was actually my very first diamond painting video. I wasn't planning on doing a channel at the time. I just wanted to show what I got and show how big it was and what to expect if you ordered one from that company. So that old video is still around, but here is the canvas here. And again, this is Spirit of the Storm. And I bought one that was probably way too big. I should have written the size on that, but I believe it's like 100 by 120. Um, it's huge. So I'm gonna turn this the way it should be here. So I've been working up the side here. So I'm just getting into the darker colors about here and then I'll have some colorful stuff. So we have this angel with the lightning through the storm shooting lightning down. So this area is the ground. So I did run into many troubles with this one early on as I was trying to learn how in the world to do a canvas of this type and of this size. So if you order any Josephine Walls from the one with the diamond art, you're going to find it does have a clear cover, but that cover is awfully thin and I was having trouble keeping the cover 
uh, on it to keep the painting safe. So I took the cover off. This is actually parchment paper in larger sizes that I can cut down. But you'll see here, I'll peel some of this away. It is a white canvas because these have over 200 colors. You can kind of tell that on the legend here. Uh, it's hard to do that many colors on a color printed canvas. So all of the Josephine walls from the one with the diamond art, just so you know, and you're not surprised when you order, they are black and white. And I did still find trouble uh, reading some of the symbols because they are very strange symbols, not the usual ones that you find with diamond paintings. I'll show you a little bit more there. So there is a fix for that. And I didn't know it when I was starting out, but what I ended up doing was emailing the company and they will be glad to share an Excel file of your key to go with whatever painting you ordered. And that way you can blow up the Excel file and print out a much clearer legend than trying to read what's printed on the fabric here. So at one point early on, I actually cut off the legend. I've since taped it back on with Gorilla Tape. Uh, it's on the edge anyway, but it was very close there. So I, I decided I wanted to stick the legend back on there once I had the other one and not worry as much about fraying and all that other stuff. So let's see if I can zoom in here enough so you can see how strange those symbols are. And so they're very difficult to draw if you try to draw the symbols on your containers. And then they're somewhat difficult to read if you have vision troubles like I do. So I definitely recommend if you decide to get one from the one with the diamond art, be prepared to recover it. Um, and also try to ask for the Excel file so that you can print it out on sticker paper and have a better way to see the labels. See, oh, that's my dog knocking over my light pad. So that's the progress that I've gotten on this one, but as you can <laughs> kind of tell, Trying to blow my papers off the table here. Logistically, this one is very difficult to work on and very difficult to store. So I do keep it rolled up and I do work on it rolled up and just take a little bit at a, at a time. I don't work in sections the same way and you can see this one is somewhat folded here because I'll go for a while and then I'll just keep revealing a little bit more and more rather than just finishing a section and moving on to the next, I'll just kind of keep working my way up. So, cause the colors kind of fade to other colors. So I don't want to stop like randomly right here. So I'll peel it back a little to finish some of that light blue. And then once I get a color change and I'll kind of peel back again from there. So that's the progress I've made so far on this one. I haven't given it up, but I did find that this one was a bit large to deal with. Which leads me to my final Josephine wall. And that's what I have here. This arrived today. And this came in just like this from the one with the diamond art. So yeah, it wasn't bad enough to say never again. So I did order another one from them because they did have a sale, a special code for the Josephine Wall event. And if you go on the Facebook page, the code may still work. I don't know, but you can find it there. So join that Facebook page to get the special code. I think it was 10% off, but when you're paying as much as you are for some of these, even that 10% does help. It especially helps just with the shipping costs. But this one actually only shipped four days ago from China and somehow it arrived here very quickly over the last few days. So I was amazed that they got it here in time for the event. So let's take a look. This is their big old box. Every sparkle tells a story. They have their social medias on there. I'm gonna hide my UPS label <laughs> so you don't see the address, but uh, it, it did just ship like this. So no cardboard box around it. But there is tape on this in clear plastic, so it wasn't going to pop open. Which means I need scissors here to try to break into this thing. 
So uh, I learned a little bit from that first one that I ordered. So I ordered this one a bit smaller because you choose the size, you choose the drills, you choose whether you want ABs or not, and they are specially made for you after you've made all those choices. So which one could this one be? Uh, let's see. We've got a bunch of drills. Uh, it's in there pretty tight. <laughs> There we go. Hit the camera. And hitting the ceiling now. Oop. Drop stuff at my dog here. Pick it up. Uh, that's what it was. It was the end of the tube here. <laughs> it didn't quite survive. But that's okay. So we have a nice tool kit. We have a bunch of drills. And we probably have some more drills. Yes, we do. And here's the canvas. I said a smaller one, but smaller doesn't mean small because it is still a J wall. So this one, here's what the canvas looks like. And I'll peel some of this back. This is a pretty thin cover, which is why I like to replace them. So this is Earth Angel. And I did get this pattern on Heaven and Earth Designs, but I was having some trouble trying to work on the pieces of paper with the um, lamination and the double-sided adhesive and using the art dot drills and all the things that I was doing. It was a bit frustrating. So I decided to go ahead and buy this one using the sale as my special uh, tax refund gift, whatever I did order it a while back. And it did take a while because it was special made, but once it went on the shipping trip to get here. That part was really fast, but I did wait over a month to get it. But I think now they're back in regular time after uh, Chinese New Year. So it should go much faster. So Earth Angel has the outer space, planets and stars in the wing, has a little earth, the dove, lots of rainbows, lots of beautiful colors, very typical Josephine wall. And I don't think they normally put the size on these canvases. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, they do. There it is. 80 by 110 centimeters. So yeah, smaller is um, relative. <laughs> it's about 20 centimeters smaller on each side. And again, still the 200 plus colors. I didn't count exactly how many. I think my other one is like 220. So this one is pretty close. To that. What do we get? We get a tool kit. I think the other one actually came with two tool kits, but most of us have all the tools we need. So we have a nice tray here. Some pokey tweezers, but they're a little bit shorter than Diamond Art Club, so if you like the smaller size, you might like those. Then we have the wax in the plastic container to keep it moist. We have the pen and the squishy. And we have, oops, a few of the multi-placer ends there. Looks like some big ones and some little ones, a three, a six or seven, and then maybe a 10 or 12 there. And then washi tape, and I like this. Look at that washi tape. It actually matches the outer space theme of the wings. So that's some really nice washi tape. A lot of times the washi tape is weird designs and just kind of whatever you get. But this one is a very nice one to go with that kit. And a nice little bag here. So I did order ABs with this one, but I may bling it up some more. I'm not sure I want to go through all the drills, but I will open and show you the inventory sheet at least. See if they've made any changes since I did my other order. So we do have the inventory sheet and it should list a number of colors on here. Uh, this is, no it doesn't. It just says 80 by 110 square plus AB. But this is kind of in spreadsheet format. You can see the, the symbols there are pretty small. It starts with numbers and letters but then quickly goes into some pretty crazy stuff there. 
with the symbols. But if you ask for the Excel spreadsheet, you can print it out much bigger so you don't have to try to draw those, which is what I first did on those. Or you can leave them in the baggies if you want to work by DMC number, but trying to keep them sorted by DMC number is always going to be fun. So it looks like 228 colors plus three ABs there, I think is how that works. Yes, those three have the A's. So 550, which is a purple, 820, and 5200, which is a white. So those are the three AB colors. So this one then makes it 231 total colors. So I'm not going to pull all of these out. One thing about lots and lots of colors mean that no bag is too big and you don't have too many of very many colors. Although 160 does look like a popular color there. So most of them are kind of small. But the, when you get the bag with the DMC number and the amount which I think is a weight measurement there on that. Oops. And I'm going to spill all these everywhere. I know I am. I bet the ABs, though, are going to be at the end in the other section. But at least you get the feel for what you get with one of these. It looks pretty much the same as what I ordered with the first one, but maybe this one, it at least fits on my table, so not quite as big. Let's see if we can see some of the ABs through there. I do see a lot of black or dark blue there because of the wings, but they're just not jumping out at me. Um, they're in there somewhere. This video is already 31 minutes, so you probably don't want to see me hunting for ABs and trying to figure out on this canvas where in the world they're going to be, because I think I'll figure it out as I go. So, I've got a question for you guys, because I'm going to work on J walls now for the next couple months, quite a bit for the event. I want to work on the ones that I've already kind of started but I'd also like to open a new one. So let me resort these. So I'm gonna ask you guys what you think I should work on for my next new one. But I'm also gonna do a recap here, except I dropped one of the pieces of paper. So the recap is I have this one already started. That is the Three Graces. I have Spirit of the Storm already started. That's my giant one. I have the cross-stitch conversion of Spirit of the Elements. And then the ones that I haven't started yet that I need to choose one. We have Spirit of the Ocean. That's the 50 color one from Diamond Painting Down Under. And then we have the two other Diamond Painting Deutschlands that I have, which is Crystal of Enchantment there and Joy de Vie. And then I have the brand new one that I just got today, and that is Earth Angel. So which one of those should I start? I will put this one away, but I don't want to crack open the other two Diamond Painting Deutschlands until I'm ready. So let me know in the comments, are you going to join in on the event? Are you working on a Josephine wall? And if so, which one? And which one should I start as a new start? Because, you know, you have to have 20 whips going at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got a feel for uh, the different companies that offer these that you might find on either D-Stash groups or out there to buy. The one thing to watch out though for is the shipping, which is why it's good that if you can maybe find somebody else and pair up to do uh, shipping of a slightly bigger order, and that way you can split the shipping costs and maybe save a little bit of money because they are expensive and they do take a little while to get in. So good luck on your hunt and let me know what you're working on. And I will have my month in review coming up here shortly. Probably in the next couple days. I have to work tonight. I'm working a midnight shift tonight. But then I'm off for the rest of the weekend. But it's 
going to be a little bit chopped up on my weekend. So we'll see how much I get filmed besides this one. But I thought I'd start here and we'll see where we go from there. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all my subscribers. And you might want to watch for my end of the month video because I want to thank all my subscribers and I might sneak a little giveaway in there because I do have some duplicates of some smaller canvases and nothing like this, but I do have a couple of canvases that I might send off to a lucky person or two. So that'll be talked about at the end of my month in review. So stay tuned for more and thank you for subscribing.